Carbels in Brazil. So this was an uh, invasion similar to the Cortes in Aztecs and Pizarro in Incas. So what happened? Brazil was mainly a dense forest area with Amazon River flowing in, and Portuguese basically moved to this region. And this Portuguese she, uh, the ships that were moving to this region were headed by Cabral. Now Cabral was one of the leading persons of the ships that came in. These Portuguese were trying to discover India. But on the way again, their ships got diverted due to the trade winds, and they reached the region of Brazil. So they landed onto the land of Brazil. Now Cabral, when he landed here, he discovered Brazil wood. They were not interested in Brazil because it did not had any gold. But they soon realized that here there is something unique, which is Brazil wood, which is a timber that could be used, and this was also called as red dye. Uh, so what they did was they started. Uh, to ask the tribes to cut the trees in exchange of the iron swords which we, which they considered as magics and marvels so what they did was they employed a huge number of people in cutting the forest areas and taking the limber, uh, the timber logs to europe and slowly and gradually portuguese were trying to establish that power now soon france got an information about it so there were French sailors who moved into this region. Portuguese sailors and French sailors had a huge clash. And finally, Portuguese were able to settle, not the French. And the king of Portugal divided the coast of Brazil into 14 different hierarchies or 14 different captaincies that he called as and the people of Portuguese started to live there and started to establish there. When they started to establish there, they considered uh, they tried to create an atmosphere similar to what they had in Europe. So they did not like the dense forest areas and they started to ask the local people to clear the land. Once they cleared the land, they believed that this is a lot hot and humid region. So it is fit for any kind of sugarcane plantation. So they started sugarcane plantation. Initially, the tribes uh, of Brazil were asked to work on the sugarcane plantations but the work required very very hectic uh, jobs and difficult tasks which these local people of Brazil were not interested to do and they were basically captivated to work as slaves in the sugarcane plantations. So many of them just fled away in the dark into the deep forest areas of Amazon rain basin, uh, Amazon rainforest in order to get rescued from this uh, issue. Now, the people who were able to establish this thought that they, since they have established the plantation, they do require labor. So what they did was they started to bring in slaves from Africa. And this was the way they started to bring in lots and lots of slaves from West Africa. Along with this, in 1549, there was a formal government that was established by Portuguese and the capital was in Salvador. Also, there was Jesus uh, that were basically started to grow out of Brazil that is spreading Christianity and spreading a message that Christianity is a joyous religion. But at the same time, they were criticizing the process of slavery that occurred in the region. However, there have been no exact uh, uh, details about the fact that at the front, they were criticizing slavery. At the other end, the slaves were constantly being brought. So there have been controversies on those issues as well. But this was the story of Brazil and how Cabral developed power, developed plantation and timber was one of the major things that was exported from Brazil. Despite the fact that Brazil was a land of no gold, you had uh, a discovery of new concept that was timber, which was moving out in logs from from Brazil uh, to Europe and the people of Brazil was, uh, were surprised and they were asking uh, how why you are taking pieces of logs from one place to another you could have certain logs there itself and they said that it's not for us it's for our generations so that was the kind of mental setup that was seen in European invasions or the European uh, sailors voyages that came up with.